Good morning. My name is Laquita Drinker, and I will be well. Okay. Good morning. My name is Laquita Drinker, and I will be presenting the case study single parents versus drug parent homes. Now, did you know in 1990, 7 million families were headed by single parent mothers? Did anybody know that? No, I didn't know. Okay. And the rate has grown um, over the past many years. Single parents are the largest group of individuals who are misunderstood by society. It's because of the lack of info and facts about single parent homes. Single parent homes are no less healthy and happy for the most part than that of two parent homes. In fact, did you know single parent homes are very structured and disciplined? While often it is easy to assume that most children are affected in, ne in the negative way by ha only having one parent. They also don't know that it's not true. Children who grow up with one parent aren't just going out and doing harsh crimes because of one parent not being there in the home. I believe that coming from a single parent home, um, household, that it's um, unfortunate, but at the same time, I believe single parent homes have, well, they don't, they're not affected as we think they are. And although people make assumptions about single parents due to the lack of information, I am a proud child of a single parent. Most communities have 80% of children raised by single parents. Oh, really, I'm getting out of focus. <laughs> um, st statistics, statistics show that children raised in healthy single parent homes have more problems emotionally, <clears throat> interpersonally, in school, and with the law than raised in healthy two parent homes. Um, two parent homes are much more common, no, single parent homes are much more common now than two parent homes. Um, uh, single parent homes have a um, harsh, harsher discipline, I guess because there's only like, like one parent. They have fewer rules, less supervision, less emotional support, and more conflict between the parent and the child. And marriage is always better. It depends on the marriage healthy and stable and 50% marriages and divorce. Good morning, my name is Siobhan Grant and I'm just going to do the closing and speak briefly on the positive effects of having a single parent. First you develop a strong bond, meaning you know you can trust each other. You can always go to that parent and talk to them about anything. Two is experiencing the community. Everyone is familiar with the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, when you have a single parent, the village or the other people that come in and help your single parent, as far as you know, your grandmother or an outside family member. Um, that, that village supporter also plays a significant role in the child's life. Do anyone happen to know the percent of African American kids raised by single parents? Anybody want to take a guess? 60, 70%. 72% were raised, black kids were raised by single parents in 2009. Do anyone in here has a single parent? A single parent home? Yes. Oh, you said single parent home? Yes. Anyone think, like, what are the effects that you had to take on being a single parent? Being in a single parent? Being in a single parent home. Oh, sorry. Okay. Parents were stricter. You said parents were stricter? Yeah. Uh, well, depending on like, the gender, like which parents you have, uh, you might not, like your parents, like say if you're like, if you are a single mother and you have a son, you may be able to teach them uh, like the qualities of how to grow up and how to be responsible. But some stuff like you have to learn from your father, or if you're a single father and you have a daughter, some stuff you can't teach a daughter, and you need a mother to teach. So you know you're kind of missing some uh, going to like. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Yeah. Um, 
Do anyone feel like it's the same if you stand up, stay in the house with both parents, and one parent is non active? Do you think that's the same thing as staying in a single parent home? Well, in some ways it is, because if the one parent is not active and he's not, or she's not doing their part, it's the same as you staying in a single parent home, because one person is doing all the work. Thank you. 
support from a man in the hospital. And he like nice. I got that now, but growing up as a young child, it was just me and my moms and my brothers. So, do you think it would be different now if your your real father was there? <laughs> but I have a stepfather who's a good, you know, mm -hmm. well, say, substitute. My real father, he's been there for like some challenging parts of my life. So he's a very good. Any more questions? Yes. Uh, what you say? Let's see, um, what are some ways that we can minimize? Single parent home. What's the solutions to bringing parents together? One way would be if your parents are having problems in the house, is you know, try if the communication between both doesn't work, then maybe they should take the next step to maybe seeing counseling to help build a better relationship. Okay, but what if it doesn't happen like that? What if it was like they, they were dating? Well, sometimes that happens, and one partner has to be, you know, accept the fact that it's not going to work. But that doesn't, you see a lot of people that's not married have a child and they live in the same home. So it's all in the parents. Did you see any, um, did you guys have any stats on divorce? Um, um, Some of the, most of the single parents were never married. I, I read that to you, they were never married. So, maybe they don't get married before they have to be married. Yeah. Um, this MSNBC report says that, yeah, y'all are at the 72% of, um, you know, black, mothers are single, but 17% 70, of Asian women are single parents, 29% of whites are single parents, and 53% of Hispanics, and 66% of Native Americans. So it seems like really heavily skewed towards minorities mm -hmm. being single parents versus whites and Asians. Still having African Americans with the highest percentage. Mm -hmm. yep. That does affect the most. Now, um, going out on the limb here, what do you think is the cause? Anybody? Culture. Culture. Yeah, since it's based pretty much on the race lines, it's really distinctive. I think there has to be a very cultural aspect to that. Either in one culture it's very not accepted, I'm guessing by like the Asian community, it's very not accepted to be a single parent, whereas it'll be more accepted, or at least um, more prevalent in other cultures, so, or races. So, I mean, for it to have such a stark contrast, it's, it has to be some sort of cultural component. I, I can say that um, this past week, I went to, I was invited to like a couple's retreat. And out of 300, and I just, did, I just noticed it because, you know, I just noticed things. Out of 300 couples, I think maybe 15 of them were minorities. And I happened to ask one of the facilitators who was African American female, and she said, you know, we just don't, as African Americans, just don't want to um, do these types of things. If there's a problem going on in the relationship, they don't want to stay together, they just, you know, they just break up. They don't seek help, and most African American males, they don't want to seek counseling. So that's some of the things that she was saying that you know she find that um, they just don't do. They don't do a lot of things together, and so that was kind of striking to me. And that's where they started showing some of the statistics as well. So I think you're right. I think it is cultural because you know African American women are portrayed as strong women, just like the, our last presentation, our last group. They were talking about some of the stereotypes. So there has to be something. I don't know, I don't know what, but there has to be something. 
that's going on because it's increasing, it's not decreasing. And I don't know why those numbers are increasing. Uh, well, I think some of the causes of like not having like parents together in the African American community are uh, when we came to America, we were already handicapped from slavery, so like we never came to America with like strong values with family, so. Solution to that, but like we have to start sometime because we haven't started like values and the families. Like, we're separated more and more. Like the longer uh, we've been living in America, and we have to start, you know, bring coming together as people. That's not gonna happen. There's no yeah. solution to that. To me, I really don't think that's gonna happen because unless Jesus comes, because. <laughs> It's just too much division within the community. Too much division. I mean, even here on campus, 